robots, real and virtual, video puppets that lip sync live to a performer's voice. I'm not hearing the sound. A motion sensing system that activates video sequences or controls robotic shape changing screens on stage. Unfamiliar? Welcome to my world, a hybrid of theater, cinema, choreography, and gadgetry. These elements are part of Lucid's possession, a live mixed cinema performance which will soon be available as interactive episodes in an app for the small screen. A peek behind the scenes at costumes that glow. The main characters are like characters in a graphic novel. Iconic, they never change their clothes. The costumes are created with LED technology. Some have animating programs embedded in their circuits. Three-dimensional robotic projection screens are carefully designed so that dynamic projected images fragment and fuse with the structures to become entities. The, the video puppets have vocal analysis software. It's smart. It learns a performer's voice. The video is made up of loops representing the phonemes in human speech. It all comes together as an avatar for a performer. So that allows the project to lip sync live. The proprietary software has a motion sensing interface that allows viewers or performers to move video, sound, or robotic structures with their bodies. It uses a camera. This is the image the camera is seeing. And then these four black bars are histograms that show just what's moving. It's like haunting the movie. You're in your body and the screen at the same time. You leave traces of your motion in the film. If I freeze like this, everything stops. Now I'm moving her arms on the floor, and if I do both at once, then both her arms and legs are moving. It was like dancing a movie. In the story, Bean, a programmer who designs smart personalities, is plagued by ghosts. She creates an avatar, an exaggerated alter ego that goes viral on the internet and makes her a minor celebrity. She's so deep in her programming that she's developed paranormal capabilities. Her head is like a live Twitter feed that picks up people, but without the technology. Lurking behind the story is a meditation on the augmented nature of life lived in the networks of social media and online communities. It's about the way in which we are all living simultaneously in many registers at once in between the real and the virtual. And that gives us a sense of extruded identity, I think. I had that stuffed with people. Here's a clip from the recent New York premiere. Something's going down. You know what it's been like. Since it went viral. Blackouts. There's something I haven't told you. The blank spaces have started to fill up with something actually Somebody. Uh, somebody else. There's a blackout, but then there's noise. And suddenly I, I'm seeing out of somebody else's eyes. And some other time. And it feels like something's chasing me. Why am I here? To be haunted? I wake suddenly from a dream. Am I going mad? 
Thank you. <laughs>